Today, one of the EFL's longest away journeys happens as Plymouth make their way to Sunderland. With that being the case, they hope to leave with three points, just like they did against Swansea seven days ago, which gave them their first maximum at this level since promotion from League One. Mick Beale, the Sunderland head coach, would have felt frustrated by the fact they lacked a cutting edge in the draw with Middlesbrough, as two changes are made from the 1-1 draw six days ago, as Jack Clark, who was unplayable at times versus Stoke, last time out on home turf, will be feeling like he could potentially be the difference maker today. Ian Foster, as Plymouth head coach, has made an unbeaten start in the league since he became the Pilgrims' boss last month. He saw his side take leads all the way to extra time in the FA Cup in midweek, only to lose. Six changes from that, as Plymouth are able to keep including January's Player of the Month in Morgan Whitaker. And what is, as you can see, a very misty afternoon here on Wearside. JV. Two, four, sure, two. Their incomings from the January window. Good feet by Miller. Towards Mumba. Who does manage to get his head to it, but not able to test Patterson. And Bali Mumba, of course, a former Sunderland player, no doubt with a point to prove, coming back to his old stomping ground. And some of the home fans rise to Mick Beal, whose four-year-old niece, Poppy, has been diagnosed with leukaemia. As the Sunderland fans are with her and the Bill family every step of the way as they show their unwavering support to their head coach. JB. There is now Mikel Miller on towards Hardy. Broken free of the offside trap, goes for it. Patterson saves it. And Onai able to get his body up and then Hjelda sends it away. Here is now Whitaker for Plymouth who looked to try and come again. Through towards Hardy who can't get the ball under control. Well, that was a good opportunity for the Plymouth number nine was able to get across Dan Ballard, then get the shot away at Patterson's near post, who got two hands to it. But he was denied by a good stop by the Sunderland goalkeeper. Roberts. Equa. Urge to shoot, may do so. He was pulled back there by Whitaker, spotted by the referee, free kick. And Whitaker is shown a yellow card. Well, Equa got himself into a nice position. He was about to let fly. It will be Clark. He does go into the wall. Oh, nine short to Clark again. He will go for it once more. That's a down to save. Not over yet, though. Equa. He'll go for goal again, blocked by four short. Here is now Whitaker trying to get away from 09. Well, Jack Clark, as we know, is so, so strong for Sunderland. If they are to be a side in the top six, he got his shot away and Hazard, who went to ground, has prevented Sunderland going into the lead. Whitaker. Now on to Ryan Hardy. The flag has stayed down and as he's getting towards the Sunderland goal. He's away from Patterson, has to remain calm and has done so with a wonderful finish. And Plymouth Argyle have the lead at the Stadium of Light. What brilliant composure by Ryan Hardy. The Sunderland fans raging. The offside flag wasn't raised and high up in the gods at the Stadium of Light. They're no doubt feeling high with Ryan Hardy giving Plymouth the lead. Well, is Ryan Hardy offside or not? It appears as though he is not. He's inside his own half. Great call by the assistant referee. But what brilliant calmness by Ryan Hardy to keep his call, to not rush the finish, not freeze in any way, and then just delicately clip it over Patterson and in. And Plymouth are in front here at the Stadium of Light. Courtesy of a wonderful finish from Ryan Hardy for goal number 11.
in the championship this season. So a foul in the back of Sunderland player there. Hardy will now go for it. Looking to catch Patterson out. It's wide and not far wide. Well, he looked up, saw Patterson was a long way from home and thought he could beat him. Certainly would have been an outrageous goal had that gone in, but Patterson saw it over him and wide. Sunderland are right in the hunt for the top six alongside a flurry of other sides. Roberts. Of course, going into the penalty area. It's headed back out to Roberts here, who may have been clipped by JB. He was spotted by the referee. It's a free kick. Just on the edge as well. Well, it's dangerously close to actually being inside the Plymouth penalty area. Roberts trying to flick it away from JB just on the very edge. Right in front of the referee's nose. As it is a free kick for Sunderland, not a penalty. Three around this. It will be Equo hits it. And Sunderland the level. Back to back home games. He's now scored in. And it's cut straight through the Plymouth wall and into the net. And Sunderland are on level terms. Well, the Plymouth wall had a gap which Sunderland exposed. And in particular, Pierre Equa, it was low. Connor Hazard, nowhere near getting anywhere near it. And Pierre Equa scored against Stoke. Now in the very next home game, scores against Plymouth. Whitaker Driving on for Plymouth. Miller. I was just trying to... Stop him advancing any further forward. In by Forshaw. Whitaker glancing and heading in. And just as he turns to his left, he notices the offside flag is raised. Lovely delivery in by Adam Forshaw. Whitaker just goes a little bit too early. Back to goal. Got the header right, but couldn't time his run. Much to ponder for Ian Foster. Hume going towards Jack Clark, who will sprint. Number is right behind him. And has landed at the feet of Clark. May look to use a teammate of his, but he might go it alone here, and he's hit the post, and Sunderland are in front. Jack Clark doing Jack Clark things. Sunderland in front for the first time this afternoon and it's courtesy of their star boy in Jack Clark as Michael Beale gets the Sunderland crowd roaring here at the Stadium of Light. Well, Jack Clark's so clever against Bali Mumba. Mumba thinks he's going to back heel it but he doesn't. He decides to take it away from him and look towards Connor Hazard and strike towards the goal off the inside of the post and in. Brilliant. Fine play by one of the championships. Brightest talents. Sunderland in front. And it's Jack Clark, the scorer. There's now Joe Bellingham, who's not been on for too long. Good play by Bellingham, who's able to go on and finish. And what a finish too. Why well, he's not even been on the pitch. Five minutes and Joe Bellingham produces a moment of real class to put breathing space between Sunderland and Plymouth here on Wearside. Well, talk about an impact. Brilliant play by Joe Bellingham. On and on he went. Eventually would open up and beat the Plymouth goalkeeper. Connor Hazard to score. And it's been a brilliant second half performance by Sunderland. And it could be capped off by that finish by Joe Bellingham. 
Well, that is the last act of the game, that ball by Ballard, and it's full time. Sunderland continue their push for the playoffs in the championship by disposing of Plymouth. Jack Clark would put them 2-1 up in the second half. Joe Bellingham would seal it to put them 3-1 up. Before that, of course, they would see an equaliser scored by Pierre Equa. All three of the Sunderland goals being scored in the second 45 as they had to come from behind when Ryan Hardy bagged his 11th of the season in the championship. But ultimately, Plymouth would not go on to win full-time. Sunderland 3, Plymouth Argyle 1.